Hi, welcome back. Welcome to this forecourt film for our absolutely stunning 2015 BMW 435D M Sport convertible. Uh, this is the top of the range for the diesel model. It's the all-wheel drive X-Drive model um, and the, uh, as I mentioned, the, the 435 uh, twin turbocharged diesel engine. Um, the colour is esteral blue. It's in absolutely magnificent condition. The car was actually supplied by BMW only a couple of months ago as one of their approved used cars. So um, in terms of bodywork, wheels and interior and everything like that, the car is in absolutely beautiful, beautiful condition. Um, each and every single one of the wheels are completely unmarked. Um, I won't go around each one um, and show you, but um, just, to, uh, just to let you know, they're all completely unmarked. Uh, the car's also been upgraded with the M Sport Plus package. So we have the blue brake calipers on the car, which again tie in really, really nicely with the blue metallic paintwork as well. Uh, standard items on the uh, convertibles with the M Sport is the uh, Xenon headlights which you have at the front here uh, with the LED angel eyes and you can just see those lighting up there. Um, in terms of the rest of the outside of the car you've got the air collar here in the gloss black uh, which ties again in very nicely with all of the little gloss black accents all around the car and everything that we see here. Um, all the roof area and everything like that before we pull it um, open uh, is all in absolutely perfect condition there's no chips or marks or anything like that um, and I'll just show you the boot just so you can see the space and everything like that in here so when you're uh, using the roof obviously this section here is pulled down when you're not using the roof uh, you've got all of this additional space in here as well so it's actually a really good decent amount of space that you have on these convertibles underneath here You've got all of your toolkits and bits and pieces and then battery and everything like that is, is, um, is located underneath there. So if we pull this one back to enable us to put the roof down, we'll just show you that. And then I'll show you another handy trick that the, um, the convertible has, which is a, a really good idea. Um, so we'll just jump in and start the engine. Quick mileage check while we're here as well. You'll see today's mileage 43170. So to, in order to use the roof, We've obviously moved the, um, uh, the boot separator area already, so we just pull this and hold it. This will unlatch from the front. Really nice, slick, easy design. And I'm not sure if you heard that, but it just tells you that the computable, the convertible movement has completed. So if we come through to the back now, you'll see all of a sudden we have a roof in the back. Now, um, there's actually quite a decent amount of space still left, uh, but the entry point is a little bit difficult. So you've actually got quite a lot of height in here, um, but obviously very, very difficult to put a bag in. So BMW have thought of this, and we have a button up here. which lifts the whole of the back, including the roof, up to the top, which then enables you to lift this up again, put all your bags in uh, and everything that you're gonna use for the weekend, and then you can pull this back down. Now, as long as that clips into place and doesn't foul any of the lag luggage or anything like that you've got in there, then you should be absolutely fine. Um, and obviously, if it's not, not in place, then you know that the roof won't work. Once that's back down, again, press this, and the whole lot moves backwards like that and it's all completed so a very very clever design that we've got there we'll just take a quick look at the outside of the car now that the roof's down really really elegant convertible these and as I mentioned completely free of any blemishes or marks all the way down both sides all wheels all perfect no dents or anything like that at all through to the back Decent amount of legroom, that's um, seats in my driving position. And then you've got things like cup holders and things like that in the back. Rear passengers have also got a 12 volt socket and also um, air conditioning vents and everything like that as well. So it's very, very decent amount of space. And then just coming around to the back. Again, you'll see the rear bumper completely free of any chips or marks or anything like that. So really, really lovely condition, absolutely stunning. So hopping back in, we'll show you some of the specification in here. We've got these really lovely single piece sports seats that we, that we have. Um, barely any bolster wear, in fact, nothing to mention at all. Um, it's uh, very, very light wear on this car. 
lovely chunky three spoke M Sport steering wheel. Uh, again, with wonderful soft leather on there, still hasn't gone all nasty and shiny or anything like that. Uh, we have electric seats with memory for the driver's side, with also the inflatable side bolsters as well. So these ones come out here. I love these little M Sport emblems on the um, uh, flags on the uh, on the seats, and then we've also got a blue stitch that ties in really, really nicely with the blue line that goes across. That of course matches the the outside of the car as well. So a couple of very, very sort of gentle uh, tie-ins in terms of the sort of styling and everything like that. But I think it works very, very well. Lovely blue stitch that continues all the way across the door there as well. Um, as it's the M Sport Plus model, we also have Harman Kardon Logic 7 sound system. And then through to uh, some of the other sort of features that um, that are sort of standard on the car, we have automatic headlights, automatic windscreen wipers, we have paddle shift gear change, um, so you have manual override for the um, for the automatic gearbox, all of your buttons and controls here for your media settings to, to answer the telephone, um, skip between tracks and uh, increase and decrease volume, and then we also have cruise control over there on that side of the uh, of the steering wheel. Coming through to the main part here. Um, this is all in absolutely beautiful condition. A lot of the time you can get little scuffs and marks and things like that. There's nothing in place at all. This is all in really lovely condition. You've got your iDrive controller there for the professional satellite navigation, which I'll show you in a second. And then we also have um, the activation for things like parking sensors, which we have uh, front and rear. Uh, and then also the different driving modes that you've got as well. So if I just hop in and show you. You've got the full black panel display up on here, so the traditional gauges are changed with the um, the uh, addition of like a um, digital display there. And when you change um, the different driving modes, it will actually change up there on the screen. Uh, it'll also put things like your satellite navigation instructions and any warnings or anything like that um, will, all, will all come up on there as well. So uh, very, very nice dashboard. Um, down to here, car has start-stop technology, which you can turn off just by pressing this button here. Uh, and this is the engine start and stop button as well. The iDrive controls everything up on the main screen. Um, so anything from um, your entertainment stuff like uh, radio, of which we have uh, DAB digital radio as well as FM and AM. Through to the media section, and we have connections here um, in the front center armrest for your auxiliary and USB, so that you can select those two on there. Um, but most people would use the Bluetooth media streaming, so you can uh, stream music uh, direct from your phone, from playlists, from Spotify, from podcasts, and everything like that, um, direct through to the main system and control it all through the, the steering wheel and the, and the other multifunction buttons. So that's a, a very nice feature to have. Um, we also have Music Collection, which is an onboard storage hard drive, so you can actually download music into the main system and store it in the car. Um, and obviously, you can come through and make changes to all of the Logic 7 setups and everything like that as well um, and all of your um, equalizers and things like that um, the rest of the menu on here we have obviously have like a full control panel for the car so you can set up um, how things uh, react what um, and sort of set up uh, driving modes uh, driver profiles so you can have different profiles for for different drivers um, and then we also have uh, vehicle information which will give you information on the mechanical side of things so you've got um, tire pressure monitoring uh, which also displays the, the tire temperatures up on there as well uh, things like oil engine level and then through to service requirements and this will basically tell us what needs to be done and when uh, so the next item to be done is in June 2022 uh, which is brake fluid service uh, September 22 or 12,000 miles dep no, depending on which one comes soonest is for the engine oil vehicle check uh, September 22 as well Front brake pads have 21,000 miles worth of wear left on them, and rear brake pads uh, have obviously been recently re uh, changed, and they have 47,000 miles worth of wear left on those. Uh, through to the service history screen, this will show you every time that the car has been to a BMW centre. So we can see here the um, the date in which it went in, and then the mileage. So first one there at 17192, uh, and then these codes over here um, are dependent on the BMW center that, that, that did it all so that will correspond to a specific BMW center so you can see from here it's been done extremely regularly the last one in July of this year were with the rear brake pads and then it would come through to September last year it was the the last engine uh, service which is why uh, it's not due again until until the, the, the following year because these are all on two-year intervals so all of that information is there for you to uh, to see at any time. Um, in terms of the other bits and pieces on the screen, this is our full screen 
full widescreen, sorry, uh, satellite navigation. This covers you for the whole of Western Europe, enables you to uh, use full postcodes and everything like that as well. Uh, very, very nice and easy and intuitive to use and um, has this sort of Google Earth kind of um, interface and stuff like that on the top afterwards, which is very, very nice. Uh, we have dual zone climate control, so separate temperatures for driver and passenger on either side and we also have three stage heated seats for the front occupants as well, so that's just uh, how those ones work. Um, in terms of everything else, decent side glove box, cup holders and everything like that down there as well as this removable tray here with additional glove box, uh, glo additional glove box, sorry, additional drinks holders um, and then another 12 volt socket there as well. So yeah, very very nicely finished on the inside, as you'll see. And I think that's pretty much it on the inside. I hope you found the video useful. Uh, if we can help with any further information, if you require any finance figures, or you um, have a part exchange to value, then please do let us know through our website, which is jhjarvis.co.uk. Uh, like I said, it's an absolutely stunning car. We'd love to be able to show it to you in person. Thank you very much again for watching, and we'll see you next time.